Animal life, including us, is made possible because of oxygen in the atmosphere. It's all thanks to oxygen that we are here on Earth. But for decades, scientists have had a hard time explaining exactly how oxygen levels rose on Earth nearly four billion years ago, until now. Very, very ancient Earth, there was very little oxygen. And then there was this jump that there was enough oxygen in the atmosphere for animal life, including our cells, to evolve. With a brand new paper, an international research team is proposing a new theory that increased day length in young Earth bumped up the oxygen levels by increasing photosynthesis. More than four billion years ago, um, days might have been as short as, as six hours, like a complete dial cycle, including night and day. Um, at this point, there was probably no life on Earth. But then the Earth's rotation began to slow down, giving us longer and longer days. There is a, a stunning similarity between the pattern of Earth's oxygenation and its rotation rate. And I think many people have actually seen that. But the, the question is, where is the link? And we think that the link is in um, the oxygen release from so-called microbial mats. These microbial mats, also called cyanobacterial mats, were able to release more and more oxygen thanks to longer days, thanks to Earth's slower spin rate. The release of oxygen was really, really fundamentally impacted by day length. The science is heavily tied to Michigan, with researchers from U of M, Brian and Gregory Dick, one from Grand Valley, even Dr. Klott finished her postdoc at U of M. And it's here in Michigan that they were able to test their theory out. They went to this sinkhole in Lake Huron, and that sinkhole has mats of bacteria that they think are similar to mats that existed in early Earth. The Middle Island sinkhole in Lake Huron, a few miles off of Alpena's coast and 100 feet down, is a perfect simulation for what early Earth was like more than four billion years ago. We look at um, the sinkhole ecosystem at these microbial mats as a, as a window into the ancient oceans, basically. It provides a glimpse into how life might have been uh, a few billion years ago. Modeling the ancient environment and testing it in the real world has led the team to their conclusion. Now a big discussion in the scientific community. It actually has implications even beyond Earth because if we're right about this, then tides affecting planetary rotation, rotation affecting photosynthesis, it's something that could happen elsewhere. Derek Kevra, Fox 2 News.